Did you know that Monaco, the second smallest country in the world, is smaller than Central Park in New York City? Yes, you heard it right. This tiny principality, nestled on the French Riviera, is a realm of glamour and glitz, yet it packs a punch well above its weight. Monaco's history is a tale of strategic location and daring ambition. It dates back to the 6th century BC when the Greeks established a colony there, calling it Monoikos. This name, meaning single house, is a testament to the independent spirit that has defined Monaco throughout its history. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, the House of Grimaldi, an ambitious Genoese family, seized the fortress of Monaco in 1297. It was Francois Grimaldi, disguised as a monk, who led the audacious coup. This event marked the beginning of the Grimaldi dynasty, which continues to rule Monaco today. The 19th century brought a significant transformation. Economic hardship prompted Monaco's then ruler, Prince Charles III, to establish a casino. The success of this venture led to a district we now know as Monte Carlo, a symbol of luxury and opulence. In the 20th century, Monaco's profile was elevated further when Hollywood star Grace Kelly married Prince Rainier III, linking the principality with the glamour of the silver screen. Today, Monaco is a playground for the rich and famous, a hub of sporting events like the Formula One Grand Prix and a haven for art and culture with its renowned oceanographic museum and opera house. So what have we discovered about this fascinating microstate? We've learned that despite its diminutive size, Monaco's history is rich and vibrant. From its earliest days as a Greek colony to the glittering principality it is today, Monaco has consistently punched above its weight. We've delved into the daring coup of the House of Grimaldi, the transformative gamble of a casino and the glamorous reign of a Hollywood princess. We've seen how Monaco has evolved, constantly reinventing itself while retaining its unique character. Whether it's the allure of Monte Carlo's casinos, the thrill of the Grand Prix, or the cultural delights of its museums and opera, Monaco continues to captivate and enchant. So next time you find yourself in this part of the world, remember you're stepping into a place that's more than just glitz and glamour. You're stepping into a story that's been centuries in the making. Monaco, a small country with a big history, truly is a testament to the saying, good things come in small packages.